Hi, this is Tom. Today I'm a Hua Hin property guy. Kind of feeling like I'm the king of the hill up here in Paradise Village. Although I didn't pick the best day for it. As you can see, it's a little hazy out there over the mountains. We've got some light rain, which is much needed, but not ideal for making a video. You normally have a very nice, long, clear view. You can actually see down to the where the beachfront is, where those condos are out in the distance. Don't think they're going to come out on the video. However, this video, uh, this uh, house is like just a couple of kilometers inland. So if you know Hua Hin, we're on Soy 88. When they mention going over the hill, that will be the hill over there. So we're not even over the hill yet, although I am in a lot of ways. Um, so this villa features a nice freeform kind of a pool with a jacuzzi, outdoor shower down there. And what I really like is this big covered terrace areas. You have mountains all around. You can see them at the back there. Great place to sit and chill. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, so this is a spacious two bedroom, two bathroom property. Really nice open plan living area here. It's about 160 square meters inside. The land size is 507 square meters. You have your dining area over here. As you'll see, the blinds are closed. To be honest, I was struggling with them a little bit. Um, if you see that the blinds are closed here, it probably means that they need some attention. But you know, it's not a brand new house. Really good sized kitchen, very open, lots of space. Pretty well equipped. I opened up all the sliding doors, not the windows, but it's quite cool in here. It's a cool day, but the, the breeze is okay. So you have a little TV area here. I like the way it's sort of semi-separated from the rest of the living area. So the original asking price was 7.4 million. Now we're down to 6.5. Basically sold furnished. There'll be a few things taken away, but we can say it's 90% furnished. Some of these decorative items will not be included. Really nice size master bedroom here. Stylish decor. Yeah, it's a nice space. It feels good in here. Nice wooden furniture, which kind of matches the vibe. Lots of closet space. And the master bathroom with a skylight, which is kind of a nice feature. It's quite a modern home. Lots of space in the shower. And a utility laundry slash storage room. Again with a skylight. Guest bathroom in here. And bedroom two. Again, lots of storage space. Couldn't get these blinds to open, I'm afraid. Okay, this house is open to offers, open to negotiation regarding the price and the inclusions. 
I'll put a link in the description and I'm just going to go have a quick walk around downstairs too. Okay, so here's your driveway. The parking would be up on here or down on the street there. It's a dead end where there's access to the neighboring property. But it's very quiet. There's no traffic or anything like that. Good size pool. Again, one of the main uh, plus points for this property is the location, really close to town. You can drive to Ban Kun Por Food Court in a matter of three minutes, I suppose. So I think they made this um, kind of backyard pet friendly. There's gates there, so if you wanted to have your dogs running around out here, they can do so without worrying about them escaping. Water storage, sprinkler system. You can see how dry it is on the mountains. We've had no rain for a long time in Hua Hin. Very light rain right now, you can barely feel it. So this has a full Chanot title deed, Red Garuda for peace of mind with your ownership. And the owners would like to sell this property, so if you fancy making an offer, drop me a line at the contact details in the description. I'll put a link with the photos. Overall, a pretty nice place, well maintained throughout. And a good neighborhood. They're building a lot of new houses in this area. Some pretty high-end stuff. Thank you for watching.